Okay, so this is um, another update um, from ABC Action News um, about the sister that got attacked violently uh, in McDonald's. Um, <laughs> so she essentially um, has not been fired, um, as I, um, said in the last video. Um, but she does not feel safe, and she doesn't feel that McDonald's, uh, will keep her safe, as evidenced by how the manager handled it. And so now the onus is on McDonald's, and for um, the people who uh, work there to say, you know, well, we need to see a change. Uh, if there are other women that work there, they need to know that they're going to be coming to work in a safe environment if this can happen to this sister. And the, the fool went back and kicked another woman in the stomach. He just, he was able to just go back there and kick her in the stomach. Then McDonald's has to now uh, think, oh, what can they do in, ter in terms of uh, safeguarding the, the people that work for them? Well, here's the sister, here's the update um, from ABC Action News. And then I'll comment again after. Hmm. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jamison Euler. You have seen the video here, a man attacking a female McDonald's worker in St. Petersburg over a straw. And all new at 6, that employee talking from her lawyer's office just minutes ago to ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee. Heather? Well, Wendy, Yasmin says she hopes people don't think differently of her. She wants everyone to know she is not an aggressive person, but she had to defend herself. That's right. I didn't have no control of my body when he grabbed me. It's video causing outrage around the country, showing 41-year-old Daniel Taylor reaching across the counter at this St. Pete McDonald's, assaulting an employee. Like, I'm scared. Like, why are you grabbing me? I just didn't understand, like, what was his intention. Even though we were having a verbal conversation, he, I don't think it was that for him to grab me. Yasmin James speaking about the incident for the first time since it happened New Year's Eve. She says Taylor was mad there were no straws on the counter. And after being attacked, James had to dial 911 herself because she said management didn't know what to do next. It's why she's now working closely with her new attorneys to hold McDonald's accountable. That's right. They need to do a better job training their employees for situations like this. Yasmin hasn't been fired. They say McDonald's has welcomed her back. She doesn't feel safe. It's like scary. Like anybody can do something to me. Like, like I work so close with the customers. Now that every, now and then now that everyone knows and they know people don't agree with this, they can do anything. Now we did reach out to McDonald's again today. I had several questions that I put uh, in an email to them and also over the phone. They did tell me that they were looking at my questions and that they would get back to me as soon as they had the answers. For now, we're live in Pinellas County. Heather Lee, ABC Action News. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for... Hmm. All right, so she has not been fired, but she has decided to not return and has obtained attorneys um, because apparently, you know, she was hurt from uh, the way he was grabbing on her and stuff like that. How look at you the, from the initial onslaught of how he grabbed her and just dragged her into the counter like that. You know, with all her vital organs and so forth and this other fool pulling at her from the back. Of course she was hurt during that altercation. Um, so she is staying away for her own, her own safety. And you know what? Hopefully her lawyers, her lawyers will get McDonald's to pay, um, you know, 
for that because that's you know mental distress physical harm whatever she needs to do go ahead and make sure you stay safe because your safety is the number one priority um even if it's not the priority of, of those people around you you need to make your voice known and make your voice known that you know it is important to me that is my, and, and only when you make your voice known that your safety and security is important to you, with all, with these other people, listen. And once we start taking money from the, 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 these corporate people, by sending them letters, refusing to patronize the place, um, there's other ways of boycotting without having to go out in the street and, and march so that they will listen. This is ridiculous. Why should she have to return to the place where she was so violently assaulted? But at least I'm glad they didn't fire her. I'm still thinking that that manager should be fired because that is that is uh, uh, a response number one. You see someone attacking your employee you call the po the, you call the popo, right? Why well, she had to go call the popo. That manager should be fired. That is a disgrace. Uh anyway, another sister on YouTube, I believe her channel is Love M. She has started a GoFundMe account for this uh sister. Apparently she wants to become a nurse. Um I'm not sure, you know, how that works, but you, you know, you can, if you want to help her out in other ways, um, other than sending letters to McDonald's, boycotting McDonald's and so forth, you can, um, you know, uh, submit, uh, some, something to her GoFundMe account to help her achieve her dreams. This is ridiculous.